The Terrible Trade The slave trade began in the reign of Gloriana herself, and saw centuries of transporting human cargo from West Africa to the West Indies. One of the main pioneers, and a man who profited from this trade, was Sir John Hawkins. Sir John Hawkins, merchant, adventurer, spy, privateer, mariner and naval administrator. A man who stands amongst the most famous of Elizabethan men. Men such as Frobisher, Walsingham, Cecil, Drake and Howard. In 1562, during a voyage, Hawkins captured and transported slaves to Hispaniola. The expeditions for slaves soon began to extract the interest and then support of great men. Early men who joined the enterprise were Benjamin Gonson, treasurer of the navy, and Sir Thomas Lodger, who was Lord Mayor of London and the governor of the Russia Company. Patronage did not end there, however. The Queen herself supported the movement of slaves, but with the caveat that the Africans must give their consent. In her own words, against their will would be detestable and call down the vengeance of heaven upon the undertakers. Hawkins' first proper expedition saw three ships land near Sierra Leone, where he seized 300 more slaves, by the sword and partly by other means. Many, it seems, were taken from Portuguese boats. Hawkins then sold these in the Spanish West Indies, where he bought sugar, pearls, hides and ginger, which he sold at great profit back in London. Hawkins' second trip received further backing from the Queen when she loaned him the royal ship, the Jesus of Lübeck. On top of this, more and more nobles and merchants backed the scheme, expecting a decent return. Returning to Sierra Leone, he captured, seized or negotiated a further 400 slaves. On this one voyage, his backers received a 60% return on their investment. It appears that Hawkins was more than comfortable in using extreme measures to capture slaves and so make profit. At Rio de la Hacha, officials attempted to stop Hawkins selling slaves by forcing taxes on him. Hawkins retorted by threatening to burn the towns down if they continued with their threats. However, Hawkins' luck ran out during the third slaving trip. This time, six ships set sail and again took between 500 and 600 slaves. Unfortunately, bad weather in the South Atlantic forced the flotilla to put into San Juan de Olna near Vera Cruz in Mexico. Whilst in port, the Spanish attacked him, and only the two ships commanded by Hawkins and Drake managed to escape. We must try hard not to judge historical figures by our modern standards, but the slave trade in any era should not be condoned. To put this tale into context, Hawkins, off the coast of the Dominican Republic, did deposit 125 slaves at 100 ducats each. This equates to each of those enslaved human beings being sold for between 25 and £30 pounds each in today's money. Hawkins was clearly not shy about his activities, nor saw any evil in them. He himself openly declared, I have profited by the sale of slaves. He even went further to include slaves on his family's coat of arms. Hawkins was a great naval administrator, however, and he was part of that great team which designed the race-built galleon, which assisted in the bitter fights of the Spanish Armada. He also has been accredited with introducing the idea of naval blockades of enemy ports, something the English, and later the British, would continue to do for centuries. <laughs>